Brittany here and welcome to Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone is having an amazing week. To keep up with us here, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Now, if you're listening to us on YouTube, then click that subscribe button and notification bell as well to get notified to see when we have posted. And if you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple, or Anchor, you can click that follow button to join the Brit Positive Fan Bam and download this podcast so you can listen to it on the go. All the links are down below so you can join in spreading the positivity with us. Now for our Brit Positive quote of the day is, with great power comes great responsibility. So you must be wondering, hmm, wonder why we have that as a quote for today. Well, it is in honor of our topic of the day, which is our reaction to the Spider-Man 3 movie. No Way Home, I believe that's what it's called. And I have my wonderful guest co-host, my brother, who is the person who got me into Marvel movies in the first place. So please give him such a welcome, my brother, Andre. How you doing? (laughs) Okay, so we just literally two seconds ago just finished watching the trailer for Spider-Man. And guys, I am, I'm hype. I, I haven't been hype about a Marvel thing since... Endgame. Like this trailer gave me that feeling I felt when like Endgame or Infinity War came out and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to see those. So when I saw the Spider-Man 3 trailer, I was like, oh my goodness. They're taking us back to the very first one. When I saw Dr. Ock, I was like kind of all over the place. Let me break it down. Okay. This trailer had like, oh, it had a lot. It had First of all, Spider-Man is awesome. Let me start there. (laughs) Okay. And it shows where Spider-Man's like public enemy number one. And my brother. (laughs) I said this walking out of the theater two years ago. They're doing public enemy number one. I cannot wait. Yes. Spider-Man was public enemy number one. And I was kind of shocked to see that. I was like, wait, so people are like upset that he's Spider-Man? Okay. No, they they think. Oh, yeah. Because he they thought he killed Mysterio. Right. Which I heard, hint, like, hinting that he might not actually be dead because Mysterio's really good at illusions. Well, the original Mysterio was. <laughs> <laughs> this Mysterio, though, is kind of like... I, I'm not saying that he's any less. I'm just like, he had a whole team of people. Right. Where the OG Mysterio just did was it like... Himself. Yeah. Okay. The next thing I saw with is the do- Doctor Strange. Yeah. And I was like, okay, Doctor Strange cool don't understand why it's you know iceland in oh, no. his his house who, who knows <laughs> i was like okay it's winter inside the place i guess it's supposed to look strange to us hence it's dr Strange's strange house. wink wink I know, right? <laughs> but um yeah and then the green goblin that was a throwback and it wasn't just any green goblin that it was laugh. like the first the that first e- enemy from the toby Go- Maguire movie i know they they specifically got that laugh and, was and, that just the, and I think he's the same one who's just like, be careful what you wish for, Peter, or whatever. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> right, let's try Let's try to bring it back. Um, and last but not least, I remember freaking out just two seconds ago seeing Dr. Ock. That Dr. Ock, he the, left specifically us too that actor. soon. I like him. He, he, we, we could have gotten another, like, Spider-Man 4. Doc Ock versus Spider-Man, the rematch. We, we easily, and that, that would have been want, a blockbuster. But you see, this is, this is the thing. I played the game Spider-Man and I've watched the movie and Doc Ock is not a villain to me. He killed a lot of people, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> But yeah, I was so, I, I don't know. I got hyped seeing him and oh, all the villains kind of coming. I wonder if they're going to bring Venom. I don't think so. That is a hard one. I'm, I'm just going to say no. Now, I went, I looked online quickly before doing this, and I saw where they had images where it looks like Sandman is in it. Oh, it looks I love like, Sandman. It no looks like, you know, the Spider-Man with Jamie Foxx playing the le- electricity guy? Yeah, um, Electro. Yeah, he, he. it looks like he's in it. So I was like, how did these people, like, spot these things in, like, you know, two minutes or a minute of a, a trailer? Because... 
I didn't even think of them. I just focused on like the very first Spider Man. I didn't even know like Sandman or Electro is in I, it. I I just watched it one time. <laughs> the only thing that I caught was that that Green Goblin bomb. So I'm just like, wait, it's not just Doc Ock, but we're also having a Green Goblin. But which one are they using? The voiceover sounded like the the original sp- first no, Spider Man. But you movie know what? One. With these Marvel trailers, they'll put things that aren't actually in the movie. Right. If it was me, and I know for a fact that Andrew Garfield is coming back, I would just put that Green Goblin. No, in, no, in the no. Second one. No, no. Andrew Garfield is the one from the second like whole like. Yeah, he's coming back too, isn't he? Well, rumor has it that he is. I would be surprised so, but if he, he never dealt with the Green Goblin. You're mixing it up because he dealt with the lizard guy. The lizard guy was in it. Oh, yeah, you're right. The Green Goblin wasn't in it. Yeah, you're right. He was with Tobey Maguire. I know these things more than you. What is this? Brittany is the, Has the a, student the become the master? <laughs> <laughs> but this Spider-Man trailer makes me so excited to shill out that ticket money. And go in to see it on high depth. Look, I was not ever really planning to go to the movies anytime soon. <laughs> but this, this made me think otherwise. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I really don't want to know anything more. I want to go in su- and be surprised. It's December 17th, the movie's coming out. And yeah. I mean, all I can say is I'm looking forward to seeing how they fix the problem. But I think I've, I've said this before on the show here um, where I'm like, I'm I love Marvel movies and stuff, but they always leave us like, like there's not a conclusion because <laughs> even Endgame with the title saying Endgame, I'm thinking, all right, finally, we will have a finish story with all the heroes. And I left it like it left kind of, you know, like. Mm, that was the end of one of the characters, but everybody else has their own story that's going to happen. And that's when they had the whole Disney Plus stuff showing, which was, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier and then Wanda and Vision, which, like I said, those were good, but I was never as hyped about them. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I didn't know their story as much or cared for them as a superhero. You, I, but you know, Spider-Man you... 3 literally brought me back to when I watched Infinity War trailer and I was like, yo, I am too hype. Like, I can't contain the excitement. You I was know, asking everyone all day. I was like, did you watch the trailer yet? Did you watch the trailer yet? <laughs> like, I was just so ecstatic about it. One of the things, too, I noticed is he was talking while Doctor Strange was doing the spell. And, in, like, Doctor Strange was like, shut up. <laughs> you know, like, you're going to ruin the spell. And he's like, hey, what about my friends? What about my my family? And like they will they still know and things like that. Kids, you know, I found a funny thing on on Twitter where they're like, can't where Peter's saying, can't some people still know? And then Doctor Strange, this is a joke by the way. He's like, just tell them again. <laughs> like, I idiot. was thinking the same thing. And actually. I was like, I was like, that's a good point, dude. Just like tell Ned you're Spider Man when like everyone forgot. He's just freaking out a little, <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, just. Calm down and think. I thought you were supposed to be smart. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, that that was pretty funny. Here I saw it online, to thought to share it with you guys. But yeah, um, I feel too. Do you think like Doctor Strange is gonna be like a new father figure for for Peter? No, um, Doctor Strange has always helped Peter out every now and then. So he, he'd be like, "Man, I don't know how to deal with this. Maybe I should talk with Reed Richard." Like, oh, he's out of town. Like he always is. I, I guess I'll talk to Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man will always make guest appearances with other uh, Marvel heroes, mm-hmm. so he'll be like, "Oh, it's my good friend, the Daredevil." <laughs> oh, how you doing, the Punisher? I guess what you mean. I, I get what you mean because um, it's it's just how it he kind of pops up in a sense, no. just like in Civil War, where we're like, "Oh, there's Spider Man," and you know what's funny? I kind of hated how they introduced him because I was always used to like. Seeing him get bitten by a spider, all that stuff, seeing him freak out. It makes me feel like I'm growing with the character, you know? But now I kind of appreciate the fact that it didn't make me go through that a third time. People were like, I'm, I'm Spider Man. <laughs> I was like, where, where did he come from? Who, who's that? <laughs> no, that was my reaction when, like, we were watching Civil War. I was just, you just, you just hear um, Iron Man go, and Ruth. And I'm like, what? <laughs> who's that? <laughs> And then you just and then you just hear and then you just hear the guy like you just hear Peter Parker go, Hey everyone, I'm like, what the 
I was like, nah, bring us back Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire. They completely <laughs> skipped this backstory, but do we really need to rehash it, though? Yeah, I'm a superhero. We'll just start off with that. <laughs> Literally. Because every other he- superhero we've seen, we've seen the beginning. Like, their life before and after. With Iron Man, Captain America, even Guardians. We saw them before they were actually the, Guardians. The Guardians. Yeah. So it's funny with Peter Parker, we're just kind of like, okay, I guess like we're just going to assume we know that he got bitten by a spider and has powers. Cool, cool, cool. The trailer was good. It did leave suspense because it's like showing the old G, you know, villains popping in and out like, hello, Peter. And like, you're just kind of like, oh, snap. But there's no way Tom Holland that mm-hmm. Spider-Man can face all those guys. They're going to have to bring back the OG spider man And I'm like, I think that's when the, you know when it's like you're watching um, Infinity War and Thor shows up or Captain America shows up and everyone screams? That's going to happen, I think, for the first time for a Spider-Man movie. You say that. Because it's like as soon as I see Tobey Maguire on the, I'm just, I think I might cry. Like I might just be like, whoo. Oh, you you say that though. there. Just because. He was my first Spider-Man I saw. I'm, try- I'm like so hyped right now. <laughs> it's always been a good Spider-Man movie. I haven't been disappointed, honestly. It's good. It's true. Like Marvel has done a good job with Tom Holland's mm-hmm. and seeing the other Spider-Mans coming into the fray mm-hmm. is nothing but. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Eee! Yeah, literally. Like that's everybody's reaction. They're like, like when you see like, it, I swear everyone's going to freak out. When they see like the old ones, because it would be like, there's a little respect to it. Exactly. There's a little respect, like especially they, they, Tobey Maguire. He gave us three to. Spider-Man. They didn't movies. have to too. They didn't have to bring them back. They didn't know. They really didn't. Because they could have been wearing the mask the, the whole time. <laughs> it, it could it could have been like a stunt double guy in the mask, the whole suit. They didn't have to bring the actual actors back. But here's That's the respect. thing: we don't know for sure. We're thinking that because there was like rumors. That and you know it's also Disney. They they have the money. We can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> what if if I was Tobey Maguire and they're like, hey, you want to come back just to you know do some cameo for the? I'd be like, would I say no or yes? Well, it's Disney. They 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 came up in a, a dumpster truck <laughs> and they're like, hey hey hey, you want you want to do another cameo? And then they start tilting over the dumpster truck full of money. <laughs> It's just it's just such a cool throwback. I think too, it kind of helps ease the pain of like what everyone's been through since last year with the pandemic and COVID. Like we this, need this. Yeah, it, we, I we think... need more fun and happiness in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> we need more Spider Man. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> That's basically what you're trying to say. It's like we just need more Marvel movies, but more so like really good ones because like. Like honestly, I never felt this way in such a, a while, in, for a while. Like I watched Winter Soldier and Falcon, and I really liked it. But was I like was it screaming fun? in my mind when I saw like even the trailer of it? I was like, no, I'm just like, oh, I'll watch it when it comes on Disney Plus. It was, and that it, was, was it. A, it was a good show. Like don't get don't get me wrong. But I it, liked it. Was it heavy, yeah. Bad. Like, it wasn't even heavy. It was kind of cut. Sh- it got cut short to me. It was cut short though, because yeah, like true. after maybe like the fourth episode. And then they go to the finale. I was like, well, did we just like skip a whole another part? Like it just ended so quickly, mm-hmm. you know? So like, I, you know, that's my little like well, not so oh, happy well, well, moment. Oh, yeah. And then we had one vision though, which was like a, an essay lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I am the guy with all the newspaper clippings on the wall trying to figure out, okay, so this goes here and this is episode going to be. The, I'm like, I, I'm going to figure this out. It was like out. so many conspiracy <laughs> theories with that one. It was insane. Like if you couldn't just watch it and say, oh, good movie. It's like everyone was like looking for a deeper meeting and like, oh, this means this or this is actually the villain behind it. And well, then it happened to be this witch woman and I was like wow we went through all that stress where it was just the neighbor who claimed who seemed to be suspicious from the beginning yeah, but that- we were like nah it can't be her <laughs> but no Spider-Man no way from ho- no way home or I think it's called no way home yeah no way home Spider-Man no way home okay yeah I mean I, let's hope he gets back home and I wonder this is a question that popped in my mind when I saw the trailer I said okay let's say everyone did forget who he is like it came to that, like the spell kind of worked, but of course there's like uh, side effects. Right. Now, my question is, if he used to come back 
and nobody remembers. Like, let's say they fixed everything. Doctor Strange brought him back in his time. And all of a sudden it's like, you know, no one remembers, not even Ned and MJ and stuff. It's like five dollars. I bet you five dollars. He's not going to say anything because he saw the torture it brought his friends and family when maybe they knew like it was stressful because it's like his friends were in danger. Basically, his friends are in danger if they know who he is. So that's why it was the reason why he kept it a secret. Right. Right. But I'm here like, like, is he going to let them know? Because I like that Ned knew and Ned could just like, you know, help cover for him. It's hard for me to say I'm of two minds. I'm going to take a wait and see attitude. I'm a wait. I'm going to watch the movie because personally, I think to fix all the universes kind of like getting all messed up. It would be like an Avengers level uh, event. Mm, that makes sense. I just don't want to walk out of the Spider-Man 3 movie like I did with number two because I was like, <laughs> I was good. The whole movie, I was like, bravo. I'm feeling it. This is good. It's giving me everything. Action, love, everything. Comedy. Perfect. Then, hey, folks, we have big news. And then you just see Spider-Man like looking at the screen after his little date with MJ And then they're like, Spider-Man killed Mysterio. And then you just see like Spider-Man go, what the, you know, and like everyone found it funny, of course. But I was like, is this like a parody? Like, are they just pulling my leg? Like when we cut to the third movie, it's not going to really like show that people knew him. This was just like a nightmare of his. And then we see the trailer (laughs) that it takes place literally five seconds after after that scene where his identity was shown i you wanted to watch three like yesterday (laughs) where is my three (laughs) i gotta wait how long you can't leave me like that for two three years and i like and i'm like okay guys like i was just i was kind of devastated and i was like i couldn't even watch spider-man again i was so shook but then i got the courage to do it during covid i was like all right i'll watch it again and and i can accept that yeah his identity is now known but still like that was hard for me to swallow at first so now with this trailer and multi-universe it's it's gonna be a doozy why why is police harassing him couldn't shield just vouch for him literally like get like the whole adventures could vouch for him reason why they got rid (laughs) Of the real Nick Fury, because none of this would have happened (laughs) if the real Nick Fury was around. That makes sense. That (laughs) makes complete sense. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. And if you are excited, then click that like button. Thank you guys for listening to this bonus podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are excited for the movie as well. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.